In this video, we are going to quickly cover which type of USB cable you need to program an Arduino. This can get a little confusing because there are different Arduino models with different types of USB ports, and USB ports on computers have also changed over the years. So in this video, we will talk about both ends of the cable, the Arduino and the computer, and which USB cable you need to connect them. Let's zoom in on the Arduinos here. Over here on the left, we have the older Arduino Uno R3, and this has the bigger, bulkier USB-B connector. So the plug looks like this, and you can see that the top corners are a little angled, so that always tells you which way is up. You might recognize this connector from computer peripherals like printers. Over here on the right, we have a newer Arduino Uno R4, which has the much more compact USB-C connector that you probably recognize from phone chargers. So this is a much slimmer connector, and the nice thing about this one is that it is reversible, so it doesn't matter which way is up, you can flip the cable over and it will still plug in just the same. Over at the other end of the cable, we have the USB ports on a computer. Most older computers have USB-A connectors. This is the classic rectangle-shaped connector, and this one is probably the most annoying because it's not always immediately obvious which way is up. So if you try to plug it in, and it's not going, don't force it, you don't want to break anything, flip it over, try the other way, and it should go right in. Many newer computers, especially laptops, also have USB-C connectors and might not have USB-A ports at all. So again, this is the reversible connector that is smaller, and you can unplug it, flip it over, and it'll still work so you don't have to worry about which way is up. So now looking at all of this together, you need a cable that will connect your computer to the Arduino, so it depends on what combination of ports you have. If you have older computers with USB-A ports and older Uno R3s with USB-B ports, then you need a USB-A to B cable, also called a printer cable if you search for these online, because this is the type of cable you would use to connect to a printer back before most printers just had built-in Wi-Fi. So again, one end of that goes into the computer. Make sure you flip it around and get the correct side up. And the other end goes into your Arduino. If you have newer computers with USB-C ports and the newer Uno R4, then you need a USB-C to C cable that has the little connector on both ends. So again, one end of that goes into the computer. The other end goes into the Arduino. And the nice thing here is that everything is fully reversible. You can flip both ends upside down or flip the whole cable around. Either end can go into the computer or into the Arduino. If you have some other combination, then you need to mix and match connectors. For example, here I have a USB-A to C cable. So that is going to let me connect a computer with older USB-A ports to a newer Arduino Uno R4. Now, if you have a newer computer that only has a USB-C port and the older Arduino Uno R3, then you need a cable that is a little less common. You're going to need a C to B cable. So again, the B is that big printer connector that goes into the R3, but then you're going to need the C end of the cable to go into your computer. If you have a bunch of old printer cables lying around and you don't want to have to buy all new cables, then you can also buy an adapter to fit your A plug into the C port on your computer. I don't have one of those to show here, so I'll slap a picture up on screen. You need a C male to A female adapter. So again, the male end, C end of the plug is gonna go into the computer, and then the female end of the adapter is going to go with the male end of the cable. So sometimes the adapters are expensive enough that it is actually cheaper just to buy entire new cables. You have to look around online to see what the prices are. But again, you need either need a C to B cable, or a C male to A female adapter, and then an A to B cable. So we know that can get a little confusing if you are new to all of this, but hopefully this video cleared up some of the options, especially if you are a teacher trying to set all of this up in your classroom and you don't want to go commit to buying 20 cables if you're not sure if you have the right thing. Check out the rest of our Arduino tutorial series linked in the description of this one to learn how to start using an Arduino and after this, we're also going to upload another video about the different software options for programming your Arduino.